Welcome, you have reached review time with Imperial, and today's review will be Uncharted. Let's get into it. Now, this is a fan favorite of the video game Uncharted, and it's been a long time coming. Uh, I think they uh, selected a great cast for this um, movie, especially Tom Holland, particularly. Because he's hot as fish grease right now with um, the success of the la um, the third uh, Spider-Man that just came out about two months ago. And now coming back, right back with this movie. And the setting of this movie starts in New York. It was a um, good selection, choosing him. And um, right off the bat, before we get into this, subscribe to the channel and like the video back to the review so let's just go over the cast uh tom holland of course plays as nathan drake mark Wahlberg plays as victor sullivan antonio banderas plans uh plays as santiago makata sophie ali plays as chloe frazier tati gabriel plays as braddock and everybody else is just really like um you know, they're there, but you don't, you know, it doesn't really matter too much. Those are the main characters. So, basically, this story is uh, about Nathan Drake. He's recruited by Victor Sully, played by Mark Wahlberg, and to recover a fortune by the mass, by the um, Fernan uh, Magligen that was lost 500 years ago by the house of... Monacata. So that brings Antonio um, Bandera's character, Santiago. That's his family's treasure. So he believes it's his right the, that the treasure should be within his family. So that's what sparks this. Now, it starts off with Nate and his brother Sam when they were younger and they were in a like a group home. And Sam was already out there doing like excursions and he was teaching Nate some things and they got caught and in the process of getting caught they split apart and Sam told Nate he would be back one day and he never came back so Nate just pretty once went about his uh life and then it showed the er older version of him so he's actually like a bartender and in walks uh victor sullivan and he pretty much he knew who he was and he left him a car victor sullivan left nate a car basically asking him to come on with him on our excursion and basically he knew his brother and said that his brother disappeared and showed a picture of his brother pretty much saying that was just two years ago. And so that, he know that would trigger a hope. Now, the brother pretty much had secrets of where this treasure was. And he taught Nate certain um, ways to find clues and stuff like that. So the brother left breadcrumbs. So, uh, the brother's missing. Now they go on to the um, excursion to find his gold. And they go to a bunch of uh, different events. And there you meet um, Chloe Frazier. And then she steals something from um, Victor. And then Nate goes chasing after and pretty much they tell her basically we got to work together to um, figure this out meanwhile you got Santiago his main henchman name is Braddock so Braddock is um, the female with, with the blonde hair and she pretty much is like his main number um, one henchman to find the treasure so they go through a whole bunch of different breadcrumbs that have been left over the years from Sam 
and to get closer. So it'll probably get to the point where Victor, in a sense, disappear and Chloe and Nate is pretty much together. And Chloe, at one point, trades on him and he don't know who he could trust because he knows Victor's pretty much all about the money. And I mean the gold, rather. Well, the money, you can say the money. He, he's pretty much about the gold. And he can't trust him. But even though you find out that Victor's really a good guy, but you, he kind of suspect. He don't know who to trust. And Chloe, she's about herself. But Braddock, you know, is with Santiago. So before they started the excursion, there was an old box that Victor had of Sam. And pretty much the box gave up some breadcrumbs that triggered Nate to get on board. So back to them on their excursion, going through these different events. Eventually, they get to the point where Nate um, there are two jewels that he put together. He used a trick that his brother taught him and he found the coordinates of the exact location of where the treasure is. Or will he assume where the treasure is? Well, he comes out to be right. But he was with Chloe, and pretty much Chloe, he couldn't trust her. So he put these fake coordinates down, and Chloe pretty much at that point woke up, seen the coordinates. She looked over, and she left, and left him a note basically telling him, like, she for self. But he, of course, the coordinates he left is the wrong coordinates. So he sent her on a goose chase. Meanwhile, he headed to the right location. Now, on his phone... There was a tracer that Victor had on his phone. So Victor arrived at the location as well. Meanwhile, Braddix was in the vicinity, but she wasn't in the exact. She's with the whole team of Santiago. She's with the whole team. and But she's seen Victor. Not Victor. She's seen Nate driving by and in a boat. And when she seen him, she pretty much traced him where he was um, going. So he got to the boat. He seen Victor there. Pretty much they found the gold. So after uh, finding the gold, Braddock showed up with the men. And when they showed up with the men, they hid. And then the men came and dug the boat up and then got helicopters to pull it out where it was at. So it was two boats. The gold is on the boat. Pretty much Victor, he um, piled a, a bag full of gold up. And so him and um, Nate got into it because Nate pretty much like, this is all you want is the gold. You don't care about nothing else. You know, he really concerned about his, the whereabouts of his brother. And so that kind of touched Victor's mind. They're in the lifts. When they pull the boat up, the henchman is on the boat. So they pretty much got to fight the henchman off and... This is, like I said, this in my last video with uh, Moonfall Hollywood. But this is expected because it's real adventure. So it's a lot of adventurous stuff going on that only Hollywood can get away with that. Um, so Hollywood, as I normally would say. So a lot of that type goes on. Eventually what happens is Sully takes over the helicopter and the boat is being pulled. The other boat is being pulled. One of the helicopters. Um, copters get blown out the sky by um, Nate setting the ship cannonball on fire, hitting the other helicopter down. Meanwhile, Braddock jumped on the boat that uh, Nate and, and uh, Sully was on, and she released the anchor to go back in the ground. So now you got the helicopter hanging with the boat hanging on the anchors there so it's pulling the way to the helicopter down and so they re Sully release the boat so that it can fall back down and then Braddock's was hanging on to Nate and Sully took the bag of gold that he had pretty much hit her with the bag of gold and knocked her off and so he sacrificed for Nate so that's when you find out that he wasn't all you know, he had a soft spot. So they end up driving um, off in the helicopter and watching the boat with the gold and sink back down. And so you had Nate just sitting there like, oh, man, like, 
I miss, not Nate. You had Sully sitting there like I, I missed out with the gold. But of course, Nate had some pieces of gold that he stashed away in his pockets and gave it to Nate. And as they were flying off, they seen Chloe finally get into the coordinates where the actual location was. They seen her in a boat. And then it went off right there. But then it was a back, like a post credit scene that comes on as soon as it go off where it shows Sam is in a jail somewhere still leaving breadcrumbs. So we, he signed it with an S on the bottom. So it was an overall decent movie. So out of my four-star rating system, I give it a 2.5 out of four stars. I can see where somebody um, will go with a three. And really, if you're familiar with the um, Laura Croft series, Tomb Raider, it's basically the male version of Tomb Raider. So I'm going to go with 2.5 out of four stars. I definitely will see where um, people would definitely go higher. Especially if you was an Uncharted fan, you might go as far as a 3.5. Um, nothing less than a three if you're an Uncharted fan. I wasn't much of a fan, so movie wise, I'm gonna go with a 2.5. I'm gonna stick to that. Subscribe to the channel, like the video. Till next time.